G'day guys, my name's Zigberg and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play series. This is episode 30 and I have something very special for you being that we're celebrating our 30th episode. I am going to walk towards the camera. <laughs> I'm really bad at this. I am so bad. I thought, I've seen other people do it. And I thought, you know what, I can do that. That would be really cool at the start if I could like walk through, you know, <laughs> in this way and say hello. And uh, I can't do it. I, I turn left when I should turn right. I, I, I'm, I'm all over the shop. All right, so let's not do that. <laughs> oh, look. I got the water feature that I've been trying to get uh, in the game. I've added here. This is uh, Pig Fountain. Are you all right in there, buddy? <laughs> I could help you out, but I have the feeling that um, I don't want to. I, I want you to stay there now. <laughs> Congratulations. You are part of the castle now. Uh, why have I started up here? I have started up here because I wanted to show you a few things. Oh, look. Yes, episode 30. <laughs> Dear. this is not a good start so episode 30 i my only thing for episode 30 realistically that i have here is that i'm going to try and keep this episode really nice and short for you so that you're not having to sit through 30 minutes of me waffling on like i normally do so let's quickly get into this and, and show you without missing out on any of the stuff i've done this week so Firstly, I have added some tuff and cobblestone around the bottom of this as well as some pod soil and coarse dirt. I'm trying to get some of the castle done. Uh, sort of because that's going to be a part of it is to get things finished off. I'll go into free cam and just show you what I've done. Um, so yeah, I think that gives a better looking base to the castle. I, I quite like the look of this and I'll continue on around and sort of Add some other blocks in and things like that too to get it get it get it looking a little bit more like like rubble around the edge here this will go all the way around the edge here and then um, and it'll stop before it gets up there this stuff that i've been doing here this sort of texturing in with the with the little caves and things i'm going to continue this around and continue it down there i think i might have shown a little bit of that before try and sort of get it worked into more of this and and yeah i really i really like the look of this so that that's sort of what i've been doing i've been going over i found some spots where like this uh deep slate uh fencing wasn't in these areas here which just sort of comes back into the front here i've got to do something about the lighting up around there and remove that bed i've done a little bit of work here to tidy this up a little bit um, added in some vines and things to make it look a little bit more organic on the back side of the castle. I don't feel like that would happen so much on the front, but on the back side it probably will. We still have a thousand rooms inside that I haven't even touched, and, and one of these episodes I'll just spend a whole heap of time going into that. So I've also put a pathway down here. All right, so we come down here. We've added some things here. I did the, oh, I've done this build here, but we'll, I'll come to that in a second. So I've increased the size of the barracks. One thing I became instantly aware of when I was doing the end of the last episode and the beginning of this episode, um, and in between, was that for the size of the castle, I had like, so I've got this, you know the the stonemason here he had one bed in there so that's one guy there was one bed in here the village people guy <laughs> um so one bed there so that's what two people here that that live in the castle for these two buildings under that ratio there was another one person that lived here none here uh, one in here we sort of we're from all the way over there all the way over to here and we've got what four people living in the village there's no need for all these houses. We could stick them all in one. So what I've done is I've decided to increase the population of the village considerably. And with that, we need some extra things. So the barracks here um, have, I've, I've doubled the size of that. I've taken a sort of a replica of this side and built it over here. 
I have, I'm going to just die if I keep jumping off things. I haven't got my boots on with feather falling. I thought I'd like to <laughs> do something where you can actually see my character's skin for a change. But yeah, I'm, I'm taking damage when I shouldn't. So how about we get some food in the food bar? That'd be, that'd be good. And yeah. So yeah, so just increase the amount of space here in the barracks so that we can have a bigger army. I've put this sort of around here, just some random things to, to make it look a bit busier. All right, so coming out here, we've got some more horses. I've gone with darker horses being the, uh, like the city's house, the, the villages, the castles, horses. I used up all my diamond armor. I was lucky to have six of those, I think it was, six or seven of those. Unfortunately, <laughs> these horses are about the slowest horses I've ever had. I can't, I couldn't believe my luck, how slow they are. I managed to get two dark horses um, and breed. I think one of them is actually brown. Yeah, this guy here is actually brown. Um, they're all tamed, but they're all extremely slow and all terrible jumpers. But it doesn't matter. They're there more for show for anything than for anything anyway. I built a little jousting area here and I thought we'd give our... Uh, our villagers a little bit of something to do we've got up the top here where uh, um, you know where where the royalty can sort of sit or, or the the higher members of the um, the village can sit here and watch the jousting matches and then the plebs can sit on the seats over here and uh, yeah I, I think that looks looks pretty good good little you know little seating area extended the wall out over here and i've built my two little towers over here they're they're sort of still in um still need work to be done i've also just put down a place or a place marker over here for where i want my little house to be out here um, and taken the wall over to the edge there too a little wharf here that'll be like a fishing wharf um this will be a uh, a fishing hut and there'll be some farms and things out here too so yeah but the fact that the barracks are over here I figure that means I don't need a whole lot of defenses on this side um it's just my thought process I don't want to crowd it with a whole heap of big you know big sort of castly looking builds and things like that and, and, and sort of cover it and things uh so along with that I that mentality of having um having more people in the village I've gone with this little build here next to the bee, uh, the bee farm. This one here is just a little motel. So there's a little you know, entranceway here and some um, a little desk and something to sit in and, and just basically beds everywhere. We go upstairs here. There's just more beds and a few things. Oh, yes. And I built a, a bathroom for them, a little toilet with a little tap here. The tap serves two purposes. When you, um, when you turn it on, the tap works. It pours out the water, as you can see, into the thing. And then you shut it and it shuts the door for you. So that's very handy. <laughs> I don't know. As I said last time, I don't think these things through. I just build them. So <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, that's that area there. It's a fairly simple sort of interior, but um, yeah, that's it. Out the back here, just a little bit more gardens and things. I finished off the... Uh, the outside of the, the bee farm. On the inside, I've done a bit of work. We just made it into sort of a, a bee shop that, as I said, there'd be bee, bee, how, how many bees is that? There'd be bee <laughs> paraphernalia in here. Um, I've also just been transferring the bottles over and things and making some honey blocks and things. I had a little bit of honeycomb, but not much. I've just, I've just taken four, five, including that. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's it. I went to build a, a, a top to this up here and some stairs and things and then found that I've, um, unfortunately, the redstone goes higher than I wanted it to. I haven't decided whether the floor's going to go up or whether the redstone's going to come down or whether I just leave it. We'll see how we go with that. It's not important. It's just a building, so that's fine. Um, what else have we done? Oh, we added... Uh, oh, this little building here. So I figure that when you come into the um, come into the village, 
there'd be a place where you can store your weapons and things like that just inside the inside the gates or something for I don't know the, the farmer or the the, um, the gardener or something like that to use there it's just a little building there'll be a little something here I haven't decided what goes here yet uh, we've still got our guards down there oh we have some look we have some fishies in the in the water here for those who don't know if you spawn the fish from a bucket they don't despawn that saves you from having to go through and name tag all of them so you can go and capture the uh, capture tropical fish and things put them in buckets which takes hours and hours and hours and then you can spawn them into the um, into the pond and they don't despawn for you um, it was pointed out from my good friend MC Oda <laughs> I like to call me out on something. Um, how did I get the bank tellers to stay spawned in here? Well, as you can see, and if you didn't read the comments that, that went back and forth there a little bit, I didn't. <laughs> I just so happen that I managed to have them here long enough for the episode and then they were all gone. Um, I still have two villagers in a village farm uh, in the nether who will sit there forever because they do just despawn if they're in a spawn chunk. So yeah, that's um, <laughs> that was a bit of bad luck with that. I really thought you could uh, you could keep them once you traded them with them, but uh, I'm obviously thinking of villagers, not, um, not wandering traders. Wandering traders is the word I was looking for. I've added trees around. Trees are good. Uh, also did some work to the front of this. I, I think that's all I'm going to do here. And I don't know whether the two block out thing that I've done will stay but I like this um, this sort of deep slate in behind that just gives it gives it some depth and things um, and it was perfect for what I wanted for the for the edging there was just something to to break it up a little bit oh I did uh, oh yes in here so this will bring the population up considerably in these buildings um, upstairs of these. So I've filled all of these upstairs with rooms with um, with lots of beds and things just to, as I say, I, I want there to be more people in the village and I haven't decided yet. I thought I might, just as a thought, I might release villagers into the village. I don't know how that would play out, but it would give it a busy feel maybe. So I might try that and see. So they've all got. I've just done downstairs and done a little bit of a little bit of upstairs. Um, most of them just have the beds so far. So yeah, I just just made a heap of beds and, and went around and did all that. Okay, the shaders are on. The <laughs> that means we're showing you something that I'm impressed with. Okay, um, so I made a decision that the. Uh, the people in my village were starting to get a little bit smelly. There's not a single uh, place for anybody to wash themselves in a single house of anything I've built in this game. So what I've done, oh, apart from the ponds, of course they could do it in the ponds, but you don't want to bathe in the ponds, do you? No. No. Okay, so what I've done is I've built some public baths. With these shaders on, I love this. The quartz looks so good. The reflection on it and everything looks great. So let's go down here and have a look. So this is this is the public baths. I, I love this. I love this so much. Getting that reflection off the off the roof as well off as off the water. This looks so good. We've got some hooks here where we can hang our towels. Wait, medieval times. They have towels. <laughs> of course they had towels. Really? I don't know if they had towels. I'm not going to look it up. I'm just going to trust that they had towels. That's why the hooks are there. I guess you could hang your clothes on it. There you go. Hang your clothes on the hooks. Don't worry about the towels. Some little benches to sit on here. Uh, and just, you know, some water coming out of the wall here that goes down. It, I think it looks really nice. You can go in and have a nice little swim, but it's not for swimming. It's not a swimming pool. It's a bath. So you just sort of sit in a bath and, you know, wash the bottom half of your body, I guess. Or you can go right underneath. There you go. Wash your hair. 
no, no the, the top of your head you can't wash, but everything else you can wash. Let's wash your elytra, that's good. Yeah, we all need clean elytra. Yeah, I, I'm chuffed about this. I, I, I always, I'm, I'm always, I always love what I do. And yeah, this room just came up really beautiful. Over here, we have a little spa. I don't know if they had spas back then, but they had soul stands, so they can. Unfortunately, with this spa, this has a, a special feature. It's just a spa just for your feet, uh, because... <laughs> because when you get in it... It's, um... Yeah. So, your feet get the tickling sensation of those uh, those bubbles it's very refreshing it's very refreshing. no you can sit in it up here <laughs> it just looks like i've eaten too many beans or something all right so we have a spa we have a we have a baths where you can sit in here and and clean yourself off and you can hang your towel over on the wall there <laughs> Um, guys, that's everything I've done. I, I hope you like what I've done here. I, I as usual, I, I really do. Guys, um, for episode 30, I really did want to do something special. And, and unfortunately, I've come to the conclusion that if I do something special at 30, then do I do something special at 50? And do I do something special every 10? Do I do something special at every 100 subscribers? Like, at what point do you stop doing the something special and just get on with your, your episodes and things? So I just want to say thank you so much, guys. For, for the 30th episode, I'm basically at 350 subscribers. I never in my wildest dreams thought that it would get like this. I know it's still small. I keep saying it. But for me, that's a really big deal. And I appreciate every single one of you so much. My new subscribers, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you stick around. It's just all a bit of fun. Um, to my to my regulars, thank you for sitting out 30 episodes with me. That's a huge amount of time to spend with me. And I, I appreciate some of you have been here from the very start. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Um, guys, thank you for joining me this week. Um, I will see you next week on Saturday. Have a great week. Oh, if you're not already subscribed, if you want to click that little button down there and like it and leave me a comment. I'm happy to have a discussion with you. I'd love to talk to you guys more. I don't like to beg for subscribers. I don't like to ask, but I do occasionally. So thank you so much for joining me, guys. Have a lovely week. I'll see you next week. Bye.